Dear students, welcome to our class. Welcome to the class of Professor Physics, the easiest and the finest way to learn concepts of physics. I have written a question over here on board uh, that is uh, if a vector a equal to cos omega t i plus sin omega t j and another vector b equal to cos omega t by 2 i plus sin omega t by 2 j are orthogonal, then the value of t is we have four options here um pi by omega, 2 pi by omega, omega by 2 pi, omega by pi. So let me solve this question here and find out the correct answer. As you have seen in your last topic, but orthogonal vectors are jahan pe angle 90 rahega, we call the vectors as orthogonal vectors. Since we have two vectors A and B, the vectors are given, they are orthogonal, their dot product will be zero because angle orthogonal vectors may 90 degree hota hai, to unka dot product always kya rahega? Zero. So I will write that point here. So A dot B jo yahan pe aayega, A dot B that is equal to zero. So therefore, a dot b ka value hum likh sakte hain. It is cos omega t i plus sin omega t j dot cos omega t by 2 i plus sin omega t by 2 j is equal to 0. Since two vectors are orthogonal, their dot product is 0. That is vector a dot vector b equal to 0. So let us now multiply on the basis of a dot product cos omega t into cos omega t by 2. So this will become cos omega t into cos omega t by 2 multiplied by i dot i and that is i dot i equal to always 1 plus sin omega t this very term sin omega t into sin omega t by 2 and j dot j that is always equal to 1 equal to 0 okay so this will be cos omega t cos omega t by 2 plus sin omega t into sin omega t by 2 equal to 0 now we have a formula in mathematics here cos omega t means cos a cos b plus sin a sin b that is cos a minus b and we can write cos a ke badli omega t minus b ke badli omega t by 2 is equal to 0 okay so now here it is 0 so cos omega t minus omega t by 2 equal to 0 when cos is 0 when we have the angle 90 means cos 90 is equal to 0 so we can write therefore cos omega t minus omega t by 2 equal cos of pi by 2 because cos pi by 2 is equal to 0 cos and cos will cancel here we can write therefore omega t minus omega t by 2 is equal to pi by 2 okay so omega t minus omega t by 2 that is omega t by 2 because 2 into omega t that is 2 omega t minus omega t by 2 that is omega t by 2 equal to pi by 2 2 and 2 will cancel so therefore t will be equal to yeah omega multiplied hai ye divide over. It is pi divided by omega. So t ka jo value nikla pe, that is pi divided by omega. So here option A is the correct answer. Our second question is if p dot q equal to pq, then the angle between p and q is your four options are 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree and such degree again a question on scalar product because we have the scalar product of two vectors here p and q and the condition here given is that is p dot q equal to p q so i can write here p dot q is equal to p q in our last video we have seen that a dot b the scalar product of two vectors is a b cos of theta so here p dot q here vectors are p and q therefore their scalar product will be p q cos of theta equal to p q okay so p q here and p q here p q and p q will cancel therefore cos theta is equal to 1 okay or cos ka value 1 kab hota hai jab cos 0 degree hoga hamare paas okay now again theta will be equal cos inverse cos of 0 degree cos and cos inverse will cancel implies theta is equal to 0 degree so which option is here option a again that is 0 degree 
okay thank you for watching this video